So first I wanna show you how to turn on and off the camera. It's this little button right here, it says on and off. The camera will turn on like that to press it again and it'll turn off. So to show you how to zoom, there are two ways. This little trigger right here will zoom. And then on the other side here, there's a little trigger right here that'll help you zoom, okay? All right, to open the flash, there's a little button with a lightning bolt there. You'll press that and it'll pop open. And then to close it, you just clip it and then the clips will uh, hold it together. All right, for the tripod mount, a tripod is what stabilizes your camera when it's moved, when you have it set up. So this is the little tripod screw right there. Um, and that holds your camera steady and it makes you not have to hold the camera. All right, so I wanna show you how to rotate the screen. If you look at the screen, you can, um, there's a little clip right here. You pull it out, you turn it, and then you rotate it. And then you can see, you can use it from different angles. You can look low and look like this, and or you can look high and look like that. So that's how you rotate the screen, just like that. And there you go. All right, so how to plug it into charge. There's on the side where your hand is holding the camera, there's a little flap right there and it says HDMI and it has a little USB sign. You're gonna plug the charger into the top port. So you're gonna just match it up and plug it in. Once it gets plugged in, this uh, power button will flash and it'll turn green and then it'll, it might flash at you or it might turn off. So just make sure your camera is off when you go to plug it in it makes it easier and if you look and turn it on there will be a little charger right there at the bottom okay so that's how you plug it in also to take the battery out which we might not really need to do there's a little lock at the bottom you're going to flip that it's going to open the gate this little orange piece orange yellow piece you'll push that down and it'll pop it out all right, there's a little arrow right here and it has a positive and negative. If you look inside, there are three pins. It's probably hard to see on this. You see those three pins? There's three pins on this too. You line those up and that's how you get it to go in. If you put it the wrong way, your camera won't turn on. Um, also, your camera number is right here under the camera. All right, exposure compensation. We might've talked about this before. But if you have your camera turned on, it's this little button right here. It's a plus sign and a minus sign in black and white. This little circle, you'll press over to the right and you'll see this little dial come up. You'll scroll to the scroll down to negative two and up to positive two. So if your camera ever is ever making the really dark images or really bright images, that's how you adjust it. You always want to make sure that it's set at zero and that's by pressing over. Okay, so there's a little flower at the bottom. That's your focusing mode. You want to press down on the circle and these are different focusing modes. You mainly will wanna have it on autofocus mode or AF mode. Um, we might talk about different focusing modes uh, at another point, but that's how you get that. So if you have your cameras not working, it's doing something weird, check that. Okay. So there's two buttons up here. This one is the um, monitor button. And if you press that, your screen will go blank. So you can only look through the eye hole and see what's outside of the image. So that's what happened. That's what's happening. So if you have an issue and you're like, I can't see my screen, but my camera's on, um, you have to press this little square button. It's the display button display or monitor button and then it'll pop back up all right so the display button actually is right here it's what shows up on the screen so if you press that it'll give you a little box or it'll make it fully with no information you want to have it to where you can see the information so you can see uh, all the aspects of that okay so just going down through we're going to look at the control dial right here these are the different modes that you have so there's program mode, shutter speed mode, aperture mode, and manual mode. Those were all the modes on this on this section that we'll 
pretty much use. We might use um, some of the other ones, but those are the main ones that I want to talk about in auto mode. Okay, so on the screen, there's a few things that I want you to be aware of. The battery level, the battery level is in the little corner. It's a little battery and the shutter speed right here and the f-stop or the um, aperture. And those are two things you want to be aware of. They're both right here at the bottom and this is where the charger is. All right. Um, also, I want to show you to, how to properly hold your camera. There are two ways to hold your camera. The first thing you always want to do is make sure your camera strap is around your neck so that you don't drop it and break it. So you want to always hold your camera in a um, horizontal or vertical um, to hold it in a landscape mode, which is like this. You will hold it with your left hand on the bottom and your right hand on the trigger. This gives you the most stability. Some people will do this and that is the wrong way to do it. So keep your hand under and then there's portrait mode. So that's turning your camera sideways like this to get a long up and down type photo instead of a long side to side photo. Okay. So like this, you always base your photo. It gives you a good, a good stable stableness to you. And then always having your camera strap. All right. So I want to make sure you guys know how to get your SD cards out too. It's the same way you get out the um, battery. So you're going to take this little lock. You're going to pull that down. It'll open. The card is right here. You'll push it in and it'll come out like that. So you want to be able to read your card when you put it in. So if you don't know which way to put it in, you're going to want to be able to read it and then you can put it in like that. Okay. And then you'll lock your gate. So to put it in your computer, always make sure you close your gate because they're really easy to break. When you go to put it in your computer, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to want to be able to read it and you're going to want that slit going in head first. So it's going to go into the computer just like this. So you'll have your computer on the right side. There's a little slot for it. It's going to go in and you're going to click it to where it clicks all the way in. 